Today we're going to have a revisit of the Dollar Store speaker, the E-Circuit Dollar Store Dollar Tree speaker. I had tested this in a previous video uh, to see if it will run off of USB and I actually have found an old mouse cord that I cut off. So we're going to wire that in permanently. First thing I want to do before anything, I still have this uh, with the screws out, is because I had to sort of take it apart, like, I want to glue everything down so it stays. The circuit board doesn't stay, and, you know, nothing wants to stay <laughs> where it was. I think the speaker really should be sort of glued back over there. So what I have is my absolute finest low quality Chinese glue gun. It's so good that the sticker is falling off. I had a video about this quite some time ago where I had to modify it because the little trigger mechanism which would normally go there just didn't work and the whole thing like exploded on me. So this is a low temperature <laughs> glue gun. I think I paid all of like a dollar and 40 cents for it. So I think what we're going to do first is we're just going to get the circuit board back and I'm going to put a dot of hot glue under each of the little or over each of the little blue plastic thingies and I'll shoot a little glue under it as well. So we'll just put a dot of hot glue there, dot of hot glue there and shoot some under the board and that should hold just fine for that. So that's good. As far as the speaker, there's no real good way to do this. So I think what I'm going to do is just put glue around the circle thing. Doesn't have to be neat. Put a little more there. And I'm going to try my best to line this up. Well, that didn't work well. Uh, oh, something just about like that. Just about like that. In hindsight, I probably shouldn't glue that now, so I'm going to take it off before the glue dries, because that'll give me better access to solder this. So let me get uh, the next part taken care of, which is getting the cable in. Okay, I have my favorite... Chinese special soldering iron over here that I use to melt plastic. That's warming up and it may be warm enough for all I need. I looked around this thing and there's a few places you could send the cable in. It's going to go in through here, okay, but I'm going to actually put it on this side because you kind of have the power, I'm sorry, the sound cable going in here. I can't put the cable, well I guess I could, but you know, I could put a hole here, and then it would go in the battery compartment. I could bore a hole through that into the case and do that. But I still want the ability to potentially put batteries in this thing. The right thing that should have been done from the get-go was for them to include a micro USB port and when you plug the cable in that way it would disable the batteries. I could put a little switch in here to turn that off, but I'm only going to use it either USB or battery. Basically, it's always going to be used USB powered unless there is no USB available, in which case it's going to be battery powered and the USB cord simply won't be plugged in. <laughs> Real quick and easy that way. So I'm going to send the cable in really kind of here. So I'm just going to use a soldering iron and we'll just see maybe about here we'll just melt a hole okay that's fine we'll knock off the excess with a razor blade doesn't have to be pretty just needs to work like I said you know, China could have just put a micro USB port in here. That probably would have cost 
um, nothing practically. <laughs> and we have our USB cord here. Okay, I'm just going to leave the original length on it and put that through. And I'm going to tie a knot in it. So let me get enough so I can work it. Okay, it's going to be like that, and that way it'll act as a strain relief. Okay, as you see right there. So once I get the knot tight, you won't be able to pull the cable out. And that will provide strain relief on these wires like that. I could also theoretically just wrap the wire around the center, which because I have so much extra cord, I may actually do just to act as additional strain relief. So let me get that set up and the wires stripped. I'll warm up the soldering iron that I'm going to use for actual soldering. And we'll solder this up. A warning. Playing with live volt... No, that's not the right warning. Uh, the warning is, in the words of... YouTuber UXW Bill, I'm a professional bad example operating on a closed course. I don't solder very well and this is one of the more tricky ones because there's no way to make a mechanical connection first and then solder it. So I just sort of have to tack it on there if you will. So there's no good way to do this. Um, what I did is I just taped this down on one side with some electrical tape so it'll stay Still, um, I don't think I'm going to end up wrapping the cord around the center. It's just really not necessary. We'll just tuck the cord in here and that'll be it. Uh, I think the best way to do this is take the iron and put maybe an inordinate amount of solder on it. And I'm just going to touch it to that tab for a moment to try to get a little excess solder on there hopefully without removing the wire that's there so far so good and as discovered when testing this I have to wire the red to the black wire in here and the black to the red so basically here goes nothing we're just gonna sort of try to tack it on there and my left is not my dominant hand. Well, that's attached. Not, not great, but... Okay, I'm satisfied with that. But of course the black wire fell off. <laughs> so, we're going to have to fix that. And, of course, at my older age, I can't see what in the hell I'm doing anymore, so I am wearing my spectacles. Well, might be easier. If I twist the wires together and then solder that as a blob... So we'll put the red to the black. I don't know if I was doing this 10 years ago, it would be a lot easier, but... Now we can make a mechanical connection, albeit not a great one. And we can tack that on. Okay, that looks like it'll do. That's on there. Looks like a nice cold solder joint to me, so that looks fine. And we'll get the other wire. Try to twist that together. And again, I'll just try tacking it, you know, if I can get it, then great. If not, then if not. I can use my right hand, so it might go a little easier. 
get a little solder also. Okay. Hey, we're attached. We are attached. You know, not for nothing, that's probably about as good as China would have done soldering the thing anyway. So we'll we'll call that good. Wires are all there, so let's uh, let's USB it. Years ago we could PS2 it, but now we have to USB it. Easy, you're gonna PS2 it. The solution is IBM. The solution is IBM. Should be on, ready to go. We have power. And of course the batteries will still work also. So that's it. That was the hard part, soldering that. So now I'm going to heat up the hot glue gun, because I don't like to leave that china in this cooking for too long. So we'll heat that up again, we'll glue everything nice, and button it up and give it a final test. All right, to add some reinforcement, I'll pull on the strain relief and shoot some glue down in there. So put a big glob on that. That looks fine. It's stringy. Put this wire down and I'll sort of just hot glue that there. And we'll leave that to just settle for a moment. You know, I mean, when you deal with China stuff that's of this kind of <clears throat> quality, you know, you want to make sure the work that you do to it is of the same dubious quality. So everything is good here. That glue has not solidified yet and may not, so let me add a little more to sort of reheat it. Just to prevent the wire from going anywhere. And I'll let that uh, settle there for a bit and cool. And then we'll glue the speaker on and close her up. Okay, we're all set here to glue the speaker in. I found that gluing it to the center post there is not really going to be the best it, it sort of just ends up sitting on that what i'm going to do is put a few dots of hot glue in here because it actually fits in the top part of the case a lot better i don't have much glue left so we'll just put a couple of globs And that's it. I gotta put another glue stick in that. So yeah, you know, low temperature hot glue is very stringy and awful, but hey, it's not gonna hurt the sound quality any, you know? <laughs> it's really not. If anything, it might make it a little better. And it's very easy to remove should that ever need to be done i mean not that you would for a buck not that you would even do this for a buck but uh if you needed to remove it you just pop it out you can just knock off the hot glue with a little screwdriver or something worst case scenario give it a little heat from a heat gun and you're on your way so let me let that glue dry for a few moments and we'll sandwich it back together okay speakers in a little excess hot glue that I can peel out and should just close right up now so it's gonna go this way that little tab oh no I'm sorry <laughs> that tab goes in there so everything will close up around the switch and everything now it's just a matter of that very good and put some screws in okay and just as a test with batteries 
once again, stick one in and the other, we're just looking for the red light, which it comes on. So we're good. We'll close up the battery cover because I'm not going to be using that. This was a royal pain to get off and now it's back on finally. So that's good. Uh, here's my little USB thingy. And we have power. Let's give it a final test. All right, we're all set. This is the final result. Wire's not going anywhere. Goes right in. You could power via battery if you wanted to. But I have it plugged in USB, line in cord, volume on the phone all the way up. This song is rather overdriven. My toes are busted, my kitchen says my bread is folded. I got a good job at the dollar store. You might see the LED flicker a bit. Looks like it works. I got a good job working on the dollar store shit. Hooray! It's all done. That's it. The USB modified e-circuit dollar, dollar tree dollar store speaker all done and I actually can freaking make use of this so that's nice another little addition that might be good with this is some sort of almost like a double stick tape pad but not double stick tape this is a double stick tape pad that would be great but then you can't get in the battery compartment of course I could you know lop it off in that and then you could just stick it down and you're good you could also just hot glue it down for that matter if you wanted but they have those like Chinese cell phone holders that have that like you stick it on a surface and it kind of has to like peel off it's like a rubbery sort of silicone type material that might be good on here something like that but otherwise it's done so there it is the USB modified e-circuit mini powered speaker from Dollar Tree beautiful I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please consider clicking the like and subscribe buttons that lets me know I did a good job making these videos and I can continue to provide them for you have a great day